Wait. I feel a bit dizzy. What should I do? Serious imbalances of yin and yang? Cold and heat? Um. I just need a rest. Lady Bailu. Don't forget our deal. Stop calling it a deal! I made a promise. I'll heal him. Don't worry. I'm so sorry. It's because of me that all of you are in danger. Enough talk. Here, I'll pour the medicine through the helmet. Thank you, Lady Bailu. But I can't fill the gap between my skin and the helmet anymore. We've arrived. Is he not here either? Mm. He's cautious by nature. Do you remember his note? He told me to come alone. But you already... <laughs> he won't show himself if you're here. <coughs> I'll call out to him. Please, you two, find somewhere to hide. Remember our promise. I remember. Let's go. Complicated, huh? Let's keep heading in this direction until we find him.
are you from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Or the Ten Lords Commission? Don't touch me! I didn't do anything! That's right. I'm here to heal you. <sighs> You're finally here. First, I was being chased by the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Then I ran into the Cloud Knights. Then I thought I heard Bantia's voice, but I ran straight into a monster! <sighs> what a day. But if Bantia sent you, then... Where is she? Isn't she with you? What do you think? Should we tell him the truth? What? That monster armed to the teeth? That was Bansha? You're lying. It's true. She had to disguise herself in order to meet you. How is that possible? Could you take me there? Just to confirm. This is Bacha? This hideous creature? Hey! I know you're probably in shock, but... She changed out of her original clothes, right? Ugh. There's no point in searching the body, then. Did she give you any secret boxes or letters? Search? For what? You don't know? Ugh, she left me with nothing! Was she playing me this whole time? The list of the names of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. With that list, I'd be able to blackmail the Disciples into giving me the Elixir of Immortality. Or I could submit the list to the Cloud Knights to avoid banishment from the Sien Cho. That woman promised me countless times. In the end, I finally trusted her. I genuinely thought she'd offer me change. But in the end, she failed at the most important hurdle. Or maybe she failed from the very beginning. She probably lied to you too. Are you the type of people that helps someone who tricked you? I don't think so. <laughs> Sweetheart? That was her wishful thinking. I wasn't interested in the slightest. No way. You thought so, too? Heal. What? Let me heal you! So I never have to lay eyes on you again! Huh? Great idea! Seeing as I'm due to heal him anyway, do your worst! Wait! What are you doing? Promise to Bansia. I healed him. But for the next 30 years, he'll hiccup uncontrollably every day. What? He deserved it. Hm. That's the price he paid for my lenience, and it still wasn't enough. <sighs> anyway, you know any good hiding places? I'm still on the run. 
You think I still owe the owner about 600 trails in unpaid food bills? Hmm. The Xianzhou is still in a mess. I better stay in Starskiff Haven for the time being. I'm sure there'll be fevers and headaches to take care of before long. Bansia asked me if I like treating people. Like I said, it's as easy as eating and drinking for me. I don't like or dislike it. But this whole incident has made me wish I knew more about the Mara struck. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe meet again at the food stalls of Starskip Haven. Bye! Wanna go take some pictures? Cultured people love visiting. Here. You'd be a tool to miss a tile in the pool. Need your extractor cleaned or your star skip serviced? <laughs> Look no further. Excuse me. Guest from another world, please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? Hmm. I understand. Eternal life is indeed a kind of power, wouldn't you say? Ah. Uh, well, not much can be done for you then, sister. <laughs> what a peculiar person you are. I'll tell it to you straight. To Outworlders, I offer the chance of immortality. But perhaps someone like you would be better off joining the Antimatter Legion. Regardless of what you choose, let's keep our voices down, eh? This isn't the kind of conversation you can have out in the open. Before you can grasp absolute power, you must yearn for immortality, don't you think? The problem is that the Xianzhou Alliance doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short-life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. My name is Green Hibiscus. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. Here we are. This is the place. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group and there'd be no need for secrecy. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as Disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. Ha! Ah, only those led astray by followers of the devilish archer could despise Merciful Medicus. 
Sadly, there are many such people. Too many. Every species yearns for the favor and curing of merciful medicus, regardless of whether they have heard of the abundance or not. Foxians yearn to cure themselves of their 300-year lifespan. The Fidiotera yearn to cure themselves of the pain of reincarnation and lack of progeny. As for Sienjo natives, they long to cure themselves of the torture of becoming Mara-struck. Of course, we know that this torture is rather a kind of blessed evolution. To return to your question, Sanctus Medicus can cure the aging that short-life species face, along with disease and death. Sanctus Medicus can do for you what they did for the Sienjo natives. What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith and you to become a disciple. This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course, this is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. Excessive! The old rules dictated that the text be copied 50,000 times. I myself undertook such a feat. Nowadays, the master takes greater pity on the common people. Hence, the number has been reduced to a mere 500. 